a, you know my backstory that I was in the salon industry. I'm not going to go through all that again. And I built my salons into the top 200 fastest growing salons in the country. And in order to be in the top 200 fastest salons in the country, we had to submit our taxes. We had to submit our receipts. We had to, we had to submit all this information to prove how much we made in order to make that list. And to be in the top 200 was a big deal. And the reason why I'm sharing that with you is for a couple reasons. Number one, I am a master at building networks. That was a traditional network. That network was 16,000 clients. And if you stop and think about it, 16,000 clients in a brick and mortar business means that it was 16,000 clients that you could get to walk through your front door. I did not do all 16,000 of those clients hair. That is impossible. But what makes it possible to do 16,000 heads of hair is when you leverage the hands of other people. Those other people were called hairdressers, employees that worked for me to service the heads of all of those clients. And it was through the customer service and the education that we provided to our employees and our team, to the customers that enabled us to keep charging higher prices and higher prices and higher prices, because that's what it takes to get in the top 200 fastest growing salons in the country is high prices. We were $100 for men's haircuts, $200 for women. It was nothing for people to drop $500 to get their hair colored, highlighted, and cut, and styled, and they did it every day, all day. It was the certain type of quality of clientele that we grew up into. And we didn't start that way, you guys. We were a school. We started at $25 for a haircut and continued to increase the prices as we increased our customer service and as we increased the quality of service that we provided to our network. Okay, so that is network marketing. And I really wanna pound it into your heads because so many people like I used to have a false perception of what network marketing is. Network marketing is anything that you build a network in. Chris Kendall, I noticed that you're on here and Chris Kendall is a car salesman. Chris Kendall's been a car salesman for many years. He has a network of customers that come back to him repeatedly to buy cars from him over and over again. And they refer people to him over and over again. And that is a network of customers that he markets to, to keep their loyalty so they will continue to come back to him and tell their friends. That is traditional brick and mortar business. I see Tammy and Leah on here, the twins, the Chafin and the Martins. They own a, a air conditioning and heating traditional business. They have for many years. We went to high school together. Their businesses are over 25 and 30 years old. Their customers have been marketed to for all those years. They have a network of loyal customers that they service over and over and over again. And that is network marketing. Okay, but in traditional business, car sales, hairdressing, air conditioning, plumbing, Sandy Giller's husband, Scott Giller, he's one of the top mechanics out there in his area. He is booked solid. He gets requests like you can't believe. He has customers stored in his phone by the name of the car that they drive, not even their name. I mean, that is a network of loyal customers that he markets to, that he keeps loyal, that keep telling all their friends about them. And so I can use these analogies all day long. Eve Smith, She's a dog sitter. She's a house. She goes to people's houses and dog sits their dogs. She was completely out of business when COVID came because nobody traveled and no dog sitters were needed. She is back in business and thriving again because of the network of customers that she built over all the years that she continues to market to through her relationships where they tell their friends, okay? Now, when you remove brick and mortar, all of those scenarios that I, that, I, that I just shared with you are 
you got to do it over and over and over again and it requires your hands and if you remove your hands from that equation you are out of business it is what it is and i use the analogy all the time if you want to hold your own baby one day and raise your own child you can't work with your hands if you work with your hands you can't hold your baby while you're cutting hair changing oil selling a car you know, cooking, whatever the jobs are that require your hands to build your income, you're not going to be able to stop doing it. So in order to be able to stop doing it and having it continue to do without you, you've got to learn how to put in other hands to the equation that are doing it for you, that you're making money off of. So this is what I learned back in 2008 when this world that we're going through of this recession time back in 2008 hit it stripped me of my what i knew it was the worst thing i ever went through in my life and the best thing that ever happened to me because what it did is it made me wake up and learn something new now that is called leverage leverage is employees if you are an employee you are somebody else's leverage if you're an employee, you're somebody else's leverage. If your hands are in any type of situation, cashier at a grocery store, you know, anybody, anybody with a job, you're working in a company and you're the leverage for those people. I love leverage. I love leverage. Learn to love leverage. Then learn to figure out what leverage can do for you and learn how to build a network in a different type of a leverage situation. And let me show you what can happen. So back in 2008, the world gets rocked like the world is getting rocked today. There's so many people this past year because of COVID that went through the same thing that I went through in 2008 that stripped, it was the worst time for them. Like the worst time. I know what it feels like to go through losing everything. I understand how hor horrible that is, but I promise you, my intention today is to educate you on something that is going to take that situation to turn it into the blessing in disguise. Something you will give thanks for for the rest of your life is that this pandemic thing that we just all went through, if it rocked your world, it's a blessing in disguise, okay? So this is my intention of this today is to educate you on something that I've learned so that you can learn it too, so that you can have a little vision and wisdom into some knowledge of something that can change your future because we don't know what we don't know. I did not know about this industry 13 years ago. I didn't know about it. I had heard of it, but I was, I was ignorant to what it really was and I wasn't educated on it. This is all about an education that I'm giving you guys today. Okay, so then I get started in this industry called network marketing, not even realizing I got started in network marketing. And I started to build a different kind of network, just like I did in my hair salon. Only my hair salon was brick and mortar, and I had to attract people through my front doors in order for me to provide a service to them. Once I removed the brick and mortar, and I lifted the world of the, this thing back then used to be called the World Wide Web, the internet, right? Where the world never sleeps. And now your customers can come through you from the internet door instead of a front door of a business where it's got hours of operation and limited time that it can be open. And it comes with all this overhead and it comes with employees and their taxes and all the headaches that come with employees and all the headaches and overhead that it comes to run a traditional business. My overhead was $150,000 a month. My payroll was $55,000 every two weeks. I do the same exact thing now that I did all those years only now I don't have the $150,000 overhead. I don't have the $55,000 every pay, every two week payroll, all the payroll taxes, all the headaches that come with employees and customers. I don't have any of that now, but I make the same kind of money, but more. And that money works continuously instead of me having to do it over and over and over again. And what I mean by the same kind of money, but more, is leverage, okay? Leverage is when you stop being the leverage 
and you start building your own leverage. This is where traditional business owners think they need to own a business and get employees to work for them. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. I'm gonna teach you how when you transition into network marketing through this type of a business model, how now what you do is you look for the company that can make you the certain type of money that you want. So in traditional business, you look for a business of what kind of money it can make you. Do I wanna be a mechanic? Do I wanna be a hairdresser? Do I wanna be a dog walker? Do I wanna be a plumber? Do I wanna be a painter? Do I wanna be a bookkeeper? Do I wanna be an accountant? You know, do I want to own a restaurant? All of those things are what entrepreneurs say, I want to open a business. What type of business should I open? What type of business can money make me? Should I franchise? Should I diversify? Should I own multiple locations? That's what goes through our minds as traditional business owners. Well, when you learn how to pivot and shift, and now you just want to talk about money, let's talk about money and how I can make millions of dollars because in the end of the day, it really is all about the money. Why we go to work every day is not because of what you do. It's for what it pays. Stop and think about it. People say, oh, I have to, I have to be passionate about something to do it. Before you did what you did, you weren't passionate about it. You become passionate about something after you do it and because of the way that it pays you. So a lot of people say, I love what I do because it allows me to help people. I love what I do because it allows me to help people. That's what I do on a daily basis. I help people. I help people. I don't sell to people. I save lives on a daily basis. I don't sell. I save. So switch your feeling of sales to saving because that's exactly what happened to me. Somebody saved my life when I was drowning and losing everything. I went from $3 million a year and living a debt-free life to $1.6 million in debt, $20,000 overdrawn in my payroll account in a matter of a few short months in loose terms, okay? It took me probably 18 months, but that's a few short months in the world of business, right? So going broke really fast is the same way as wealth is created. Wealth is created in a few short years, just like going broke is what happens in a few short years. They go in both directions. So wealth is not created over a lifetime. I want you to think about people that work 40 years at the same job. They don't get wealthy. They don't get wealthy. Wealth is created when an opportunity is presented to you and you happen to take advantage of that opportunity and it ends up making you wealthy. Hot stock tip, an investment, whatever. You know, there's all kinds of things. If for, Look at Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg invited five friends back to his dorm room. How many showed up? We've all heard the story. Those people went on to become millionaires, if not billionaires, while the other ones are still broke. And the same story goes for me. When I finally sat in front of my first network marketing presentation, it was me and two other ladies. I sat in the middle. They sat beside me. There was three of us. I was the only one of us three who took a chance on something that that something went on to make me my first million dollars in the industry in three years. They did not get started. The rest is history. I can tell you still what they're doing today, you know, but because I took a, took a chance, I didn't understand it. It didn't make sense to me. I didn't know what the guy was presenting me, but from that point to this point where I am today, I have become a professional and a master at understanding the way residual leveraged income works. It's called a compensation plan. And so if you're not already on my Facebook, my pinned post on my Facebook is what I'm gonna go over with you guys, what I'm kind of talking with you about. And I do wanna share my screen before I jump into the content because I wanna show you a couple things that are, that are the reason why I understand the top 100 lists to the top 200 lists because I was in the top 200. I know what it takes to get to the top 200. Many of you know my husband and I are the extreme opposites when it comes to our brains and the way that we are as people. I am this type of a person and which is a complete opposite of what he is. My husband is an introvert. I'm supposedly the extrovert. I am the visionary because I can see the end result and the big picture and I have no clue how to get there. I just charge till I get there. My husband is the analytical 
logistical spreadsheets. He's a COO of a big global company. I hired my husband to work for me in my salons when he was 21 years old. I was 30. I was already established. I was already an established business person. At the time I was buying my business owner out. I was nine years into our business journey and I was buying my business owner out and she or my business partner and she was the numbers girl and so i needed somebody to help me with my books and jim kept telling me i can help you i know how to do books i can help you so i took a chance on this 21 year old kid that was the son of my good friends okay he was their son and so he started working for me and he's never stopped doing what he does he took my company from a million and a half dollars to $3 million with his intelligence of what he knows how to do with numbers and what he does. It's just what he does. Fast forward to today, he does the same thing for a huge company that he works for. He deals with $50 million contracts today. It is the way his brain works, okay? He is just really good at what he does. So my after we got into network marketing, and we retired from the salon industry because we made our first million dollars in three years. We built that network. Follow me for a minute. In my salons, we built that network to 16,000 clients. It took us 19 years. It cost us millions of dollars, millions of dollars. And it took us three years, took me three years before I even got back my investment that I invested to zero. And I had to pay payroll and overhead and everything during that three years, three years of hard work. And I missed out on all life because when you own a traditional business and your hands are engaged in that equation, you don't get vacations. You don't travel the world. You do on small trips, but you don't get to live in various places and go on one month vacations and all that kind of stuff. And you don't raise your own kids. It's very difficult. It's a totally different life. I didn't even know it existed. This is why I'm doing this. I didn't even know life existed outside that box. Then I got into the other box, which is the box of network marketing, where it's World Wide Web, unlimited customers, unlimited income, the sky's the limit. It can grow as big and wide as you want because there's no brick and mortar around it, but it's the same thing. But it's, it's, an, it's an industry that we are not educated on. And if you'll do your research, it's the highest paid industry second to professional league sports. And let's face it, to become an athlete takes a heck of a lot of work, okay? And in professional sports, that's the highest paid per person, per person, meaning one person can get $100 million. In network marketing, it's the industry that produces the most millionaires. So would you rather have one person have $100 million or let's have a hundred people have a million dollars a year. You know what I mean? That type of thing. So more people have the chance at making millions and it's documented and proven that you can do it in a few short years. I did it. I proved it. I made my first million dollars in my bank, not to the company. This is not making a million dollars for a company that you get maybe 10% of. This was a million dollars in my bank account. It's documented, okay? So I've gone on to do that multiple times in this industry because I learned how to build that different type of leverage. Now, we're gonna share my screen and hop over here for a minute. Okay, share screen. So uh, Jen, can you see my Facebook? Yes. Thank you. So this post right here, this is on my Facebook and it says, this post is for the MLM comp plan and credibility seekers, the researchers, the big dreamers, and the show me the money 10x people. And in this, you will find the whole story of my husband and his brain and what he did and why we do what we do. Now, my husband is a researcher. He has followed the top 100 fastest growing companies in the industry since we were in the industry. He studies this chart. Okay, it's right here. He studies it every single year. He can tell you what company is hitting the industry and blah, 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 all that stuff. But I'm pulling this up right now because I want you to read this right here. Network marketing or multi-level marketing is considered to be one of the best ways to market and po popularize a product. 
Here, the business roots are by means of human connections and relationships. I'm going to stop for a minute. Human connections and relationships. That is exactly what a hair salon, a car sales, car salesman, dog groomers, mechanics, restaurant, it doesn't matter. Two relationships are what move money, human connectionships, and it's the way that relationship is built that creates the loyalty. It creates the relationship that people stay loyal to tell other friends about it. Many of you know that I'm with a company called Send Out Cards. I have been for six years. I preach this company like crazy because of the service and the tool that it provides, provides to build the relationship and to create human connections. I, for the last six years, have beat it into social media's head. Everybody needs to be using this product because this product will allow you to do the impossible. The impossible is to be able to send out 5,000 birthday cards that are personalized, anniversary cards to people on their anniversaries, mourning, loss, death, celebration, graduation, haven't seen you in a while, I miss you and I appreciate you and I love you and congratulations, all personalized without you having to touch a single thing. That is impossible to do without this tool and this service. So when you focus on building relationships, you can build any network under the sun. Now, comp plans, making money. I tell people all the time, this is the service that I use. This is not the comp plan that I build for the big money. This is the service that I use. Now let's switch over here to the comp plan that I build for the big money. I do not use their service. It's two complete opposite things. I use this company for the service. I am building this company for the money. I do not use this service. Now, a lot of people are very confused about that. So let's go back to my husband. My husband is the analytical one, the researcher, the one that does all the where's the money and can tell you he has studied this list for years. And this list will tell you who, how much money people make, who's on the top of the leaderboard and who's doing what. So this is the name of the company that my husband is with. My husband does not do this company for the comp plan. Now this is gonna be very confusing to some of you. So I'm gonna stop again. My husband does not do this company for the comp plan. I cannot think of two better examples of people to use in this company than he and I. My husband tried to get me to look at this company for years and I did not want to see it because he was coming at it with the service, okay? It wasn't until my husband did it and I started seeing the money people were making in the comp plan did I open my eyes to realize the hidden lining in this company is the comp plan. Yes, you can go on to make millions of dollars learning how to trade. It's been proven over and over again by traders all over the world, okay? That's not in my wheelhouse, but making money, doing what I love to do, which is building networks, is in my wheelhouse. This company is the only company I've ever found, and if you know of another company that does this, please let me know, and this is why I say that I've ever found because I didn't even know this until my husband proved it. This is the only, this IM Academy is the only company in the industry that the service, for example, send out cards. This service is for me to send cards to people to show them appreciation. This service is not to teach me how to make money. In order for me to make money in this company, I have to sign other people up that want to send these to their customers and then I get paid off of their account and what they're sending. That is network marketing in this model. Same goes for my health and wellness company. In my health and wellness company, I use their products for the way that it makes me feel. It doesn't make me money. Health is wealth though. Yes, I do know health as well. In order for me to make money in my health and wellness company, I have to get other people to sign up to use the product. And then I get paid off of their usage of their account. That is that type of network marketing. 
I have been, I have many companies, you guys. I built 14 companies, as you know. My shuffle business, I use that all the time in order to create connections with other customers, okay? It's the way that I move information to them. That does not make me money. In order for me to make money in that company, I have to sign somebody up and I make money off of what they do, okay? So those are small ways to make money, but they add up over time as you build that network. But over here in this company, it is the only company in the industry that the service is what teaches you how to make money in your own trading account. So there's many people that do not like to do network marketing that can come over here and they don't have to do network marketing. That's my husband. My husband is not going to do a company that he has to go sell something to someone else because it's not who my husband is. People are wired differently. We're all programmed differently. Just like I'm not going to go to the academy to learn how to trade. So being that this company has got a service that an introvert, somebody who doesn't like to do network marketing, can come and go to an academy to learn a skill that can empower them with the knowledge to be able to go build and compound their money every day on the markets with professionals, that's the service, okay? This is where this is unique. However, the compensation plan here, now I'm going to bring you back over here. This is what my husband researches. And this is why he said, babe, this company is the first company to take over the top 10 of the top 100 of, the, of this list, the top 100 network marketers and companies in the world during our time. He's been following this, you guys, for 13 years. He can, he's like that sports person who can tell you the name of every player on a team, what their stats are, what their position is. He's like one of those. He can tell you who every one of these companies are. I don't, I can't. He can tell you who the top money earners are. He follows every single one of these people on social media. He gets on all their training. My husband's that stalker guy. I hate to admit it, but he is. He's that guy. Okay. I'm telling you, we're complete opposites. I keep telling him, can you go on my phone and do all that scrolling that you do and tell me what you find over here? <laughs> He's a massive researcher. So he follows all these leaders. He can tell you what they're ranking, what they're promoting. He can tell you everything about their company. He can tell you where the breaks are in their compensation plan. That's how big of a researcher this guy's brain is. Okay. So now we're going to hop back over to this report. And you can find this report on my Facebook and you can Google it yourself. So if you'll notice, okay, another thing I want to tell you is the number one money earner in the world, his name is Alex Morton and he does not report his earnings. So therefore he is not on this list. He is also the number one money earner in this company. He's also a good friend of ours. We have known him for 13 years since he started in the industry. He was in our second company with us. That's how much we know this guy. So he does not report his numbers. So technically, six of the top 10 are in this company. Okay, I am Academy, I am Academy, I am Academy, I am Academy. And if you scroll the top 100 list, many of the people are in this company. It's dominating right now. And you can go find that list so that you can see for yourself. This is to... This is to eliminate skepticism and build belief in somebody's mind that might be watching this. The, the research that goes into creating these lists are like the research that I had to go through to be in the top 200. That's why I understand this. I also understand what a mentorship program is, what, a, a, what an apprenticeship program is. Because my hair salons, I was an apprentice. I trained all of my hairdressers how to do hair. They did not go to beauty school. And that is exactly like what this academy is. This academy, these, all these students, my husband is mentored and trained by other professional traders. This is where this is unique because it's an apprenticeship program. It's a mentorship program where these mentors are teaching you hands-on how to do what they already learned how to do. That's why my husband has had the success he has with one hour a day, four days a week to get to where he's at so that he can now have the tools and the skills to go start becoming a professional now, okay? He's a professional amateur is what he is now, but in order to up his game, now he's got to start putting in more time in front of the charts, 
charts, which is what he wants to do because now he's found a passion, right? He wasn't passionate before he started. He was scared to death and skeptical and fearful and had to be for two and a half years researching to wondering if he could even make this thing work. The passion came after you guys. This is about learning how money moves and understanding how to shift yourself in front of what money moves and learning how to trigger the money and what something does. So now we're going to talk about comp plans. So this company, if you go scroll, all these leaders that are making all this money, those are comp plans that people like me that want to build comp plans would move to for the money. I like money. I'm not one of those people who says I don't like money and I don't want to make a lot of money. I believe money is a tool in the world that can buy happiness and save lives and prevent you from being helpless and hopeless and selfish, right? To be selfless, to be able to do all those things that people can't do because they don't have money. We need money. Money is a tool. So therefore, embrace learning how to make money and realize that you have the same 24 hours in a day as I do. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. So shift and start pivoting yourself in front of things that can produce you more money and especially learn how to build a network in a, in a model, in a business model that will create a type of money that doesn't allow your hands to have to be in motion to do it, okay? So in my first business, I built that team to 42,000 people, 42,000 people. And in that comp plan, we were making $42,000 a month in that comp plan and then bonuses and all that kind of stuff. But in the comp plan, all comp plans have your pay that you make today, then it has bonus money and then it has fast start money. And then it has all you know, it's got all these layers of different types of money you can make just like at your job, your job, your company sometimes pays you. If you hit a certain production number, you get a bonus. Okay. It's just the way it pays. It's just in a different business model in a business model that is abundant, but it's in a business model that isn't taught in school. It's not taught in school and it's not taught in school from a reason for a reason. Money is not taught in school. Money is taught by millionaires and mentors. I'm going to say that again. Money is not taught in schools. Money is taught by millionaires and mentors. And the reason why it's not taught in school is school is a business. Okay. If teachers knew how to teach, how to make millions of dollars, there would be no teachers. It's just a fact, you guys. It's, there would be no teachers. Jobs are meant to pay what the jobs are worth, not the people, what the people are worth. And it's just the way it is. It's the way the world works. This is an education to learn something different so that you can learn how to tap into a system that can pay you different money and be prepared to not be like everybody else. It takes 95% of the people in the world to run our world. It just is what it is. If it wasn't the case, who's going to cut your hair? Who's going to fix your car? Who's going to watch your dog while you're on vacation, right? Who's going to do all the things that need to be done to make the city run? That's okay. You have to put your mind into saying, I'm going to become the five percenter and I'm going to learn how to create leverage and I'm going to learn how to create wealth and abundance so that I can give jobs to other people so that I can provide a way for other people to work and do the things that they want to do because people do have passions. There are people who grow up saying, I want to be a doctor and I want to be a hairdresser and I want to be an airline stewardess and I want to be a, you know, I love pets and I want to go be a veterinarian. There are those people and that's what college is for. College is for the people that need to go have, get educated on their degree and their career so that they can have what it takes to do that. Okay. That's really what college is for. And we need people with passions and purposes. But it doesn't mean that people with passions and purposes can't build multiple streams of income. This is another education for you. This is about becoming diversified to learn how to build multiple streams of income so that you can create wealth and abundance so that when there's a crash, when there's a recession, when there's a pandemic, when there's a reinvention of the world, when a new technology comes out and disrupts the marketplace or gets rid of an industry or disappears things, you know, it happens all the time. 
that you're not going to get your feet knocked out from underneath you and you're not going to go broke overnight. If you're building one paycheck, if you have one income stream coming into your world or maybe two paychecks because your wife does one thing and you have a different type of job or maybe you have two part-time jobs, you know, that's dangerous. You got to open your mind and start learning how to build multiple streams of incomes. And I'm here to tell you that over here in the world of network marketing, the tax benefits and the tax write-offs alone are worth like are, are like having two jobs because of the money that you're saving. I want to repeat that. When you get over here into network marketing, the tax write-offs are unlike, unlike what exists over here, okay? You can write off so much that that's like alone having another income stream because you're not paying it out in taxes. Let that sink in, okay? Now come over here into the world of network marketing and talk about compensation plans. When you're gonna go into a company to build a compensation plan, you have to stop for a minute and look at the field that already exists. In that company, how many people have been there for three years, that's my thing, three years to five years that are making the type of money that I want to make, okay? Three to five years, are they making $50,000 a month and $100,000 a month? And if they are, how many of them are doing it? And how long did it take them to get there? That is what this woman wants to know when I'm gonna look at a compensation plan. How many people have already done it? How long did it take them to get there? That's all I need to know. Because I already know what to do in order to, to be able to get the people in front of the information, that's all you do. It's all about exposing your product or service to the person and letting them decide if it makes sense to them. Now over here, I just wanna know how many people within three to five years have made millions of dollars. How did they do it? Show me what to do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. So that's why I build so many network marketing companies. I build them for different reasons. Some are for the services that I need to use in my life. Some are for the products that I want to use in my household. And then this one is for the big paycheck. It's not for the service, for me anyway but it sure is easy for me to find a lot of people that that is the service for because it's the only company that has a service that teaches people what's missing in school, how to make money. That's why so many grandparents like Julie Gluth, I just love watching what you're doing with your grandson, Anthony. I've got many of you that are putting your children through this academy because it's giving them, the, including ourselves, you guys, our own child is getting empowered and educated on how to make more money and she's already picked up on it. Mom, dad, remind me again why I'm going to college? But she's like, I already know how to make more money than any job teaches at school. Correct, baby. Go to college for the experience so you can learn what to talk about when you're standing on stages one day. And that's really the talk that we have with our daughter. And she is so focused and crushing it in what she's learning because she got empowered to learn the discipline and the mindset of how to make money, okay? That's a service that no other company can hold a stick at. Now the comp plan. So every company tells you to do a certain things to tap into the compensation plan. So I'm gonna use the good old fashioned piece of, uh, I found this in the thing. I don't have a whiteboard anymore. So I need to work old style, right? So here you are, day one, you get started in your, in, this is, this is IM's compensation plan, by the way. Okay, it's a game play, just like how they draw out on the game field of a football stadium. You're going to do this play. Here's the play. I'm teaching you how to run the play. Ask Sandy Giller. I taught her how to run the play. When she finally said, okay, coach, Teach me how to do this and tell me what to do. I'm going to get out of my comfort zone. I'm going to get out of my fear and I'm going to do what you tell me to do. So month one, we get her in here and we teach her what to do. And month one of her building, she hit the rank of what's called P1000, which is $1,000 a month in the compensation plan, not in the trading account, in the compensation plan. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Month two, she hits P2,000, $2,000 a month in the compensation plan. She, I want you to think about what $1,000 extra dollars a month would do in your life. 
what would 2000 extra dollars a month do in your life? And that's just in the compensation plan, not even counting the bonuses that come off of every person that enrolls, that she enrolls in her organization. That's on top of it all. Okay. It's a life changer. It's a life changer. Sandy does not learn how to trade right now. Sandy doesn't have a desire right now to learn how to trade. She started learning how to trade and it was too much for her. So she shifted and she started building the compensation plan because I taught her how to shift her eyesight on what she was looking at. And that's what I'm trying to teach a lot of people here today. Doing this for the compensation plan doesn't mean leave your company. Mm -mm, doesn't mean that. This is about multiple streams of income and learning how to do something that can bring you more money for doing the same thing that you're doing maybe in another company and there's nothing wrong with that. Are you using the product and the service in your company? Are you in that company for the compensation plan or are you in that company because you love the product and the service? Think about that. Are you in that company because you love the product and the service or are you in that company because you love the compensation plan? Think about that. This is simply business move. This is simply making more money. And don't let anybody tell you that you can only build one company. If somebody's telling you that you can only build one company, that's almost like a cult mindset. They don't own you. You own your life. You get to choose what you do for a living and you get to choose what company, who you're with. I mean, you can't have multiple husbands and wives because it's against the law, but it is not against the law for you to build and work wherever you want to work to provide your living for your own family. Okay. This company allows you to build multiple streams of income. And a lot of people built this for the compensation plan. That's why it pays so well. Okay. So here you are, you're getting started in the compensation plan and you're going to build a network. What's the play coach put me in. Your first play is to recruit three people, three people. When you recruit three people, you get promoted to the first rank, which is P150, P150. What does that mean? It means $150 a month. This is gonna pay you. Now, who are these people? It doesn't matter. This person could be like my husband who is gonna go trade in the academy and he's not gonna tell one person about it. This person could be me who's gonna go out and tell everybody about it and not trade. This person could be somebody who does both. Maybe there's somebody who's going to trade and tell some other people. Maybe they're like, I don't know, Brian Perez. Okay. Brian Perez, he has two sons, teenage sons. He wants to learn the skill so that he can empower his children with the same skill. Like my husband has done with Bella. I'm not teaching her how to trade. That's for darn sure. But my husband is right. So Brian is teaching his sons. He's going to learn and teach his sons how to trade. Christy's not. Christy's not even going to build the comp plan. Brian is. Do you get it? Because Brian is the networker and the one. So there's three different types of people that would do this academy. Okay, so that's the first play, coach. Now what's the second play? The second play is how to get promoted to the next level. Let me erase my whiteboard. <laughs> So here we are, there you are, the happy networker that's introducing this to other people that will want to either go to the academy and learn how to trade or build the comp plan or do both. So there we go again. Now this person is going to the academy, remember? So they're not gonna tell anybody, but let's say this is me. I'm only gonna tell everybody and I'm not going to the academy. So I'm going to go out and put in my three people right away because I'm a networker. And then there's Brian. So Brian's off trading in the academy and telling people. So Brian's play is what? What's the play, coach? The play, the play is three, Brian. So Brian goes out and puts in three, right? Now these are not Sandy's people. These are Sandy's people. Let's say Sandy put me in, right? or put Jim in, let's just say, we're using names. Let's say Sandy puts Jim in and Jim's not my husband. Jim only wants to learn how to trade. He doesn't tell a soul. 
Then Sandy puts me in and I'm telling everybody. And then she puts Brian in and Brian says, run the play coach, what's the play? What's three, okay? But let's say that I put in five people. The play is only three, right? But I'm gonna keep putting in more people because I'm telling everybody. So I'm gonna put my next person right here. And let's just say I put my next person right here. There's my five. What does it take for Sandy to get to the next level? It takes Sandy a team of 12 people. Now, these 12 people are not just her people. They're my people too. They're Brian's people too. Now I put in these people too. Now let's say this person doesn't wanna tell anybody, but this person wants to go tell a whole bunch of people. So what's that person gonna do? What's the play coach? Put in three people. Who are those people going under? They're going under this person, they're going under this person, they're going under this person, and they're going under that person because you build straight down. It's people under people under people. So when Sandy hits 12 people, she gets promoted to the next level of P600. But what about this leg? Sandy has to have people under this leg in order for it to be the play of the code. What's the play, coach? The coaches get, the play is get 12 people. However, you must build all three legs and this is all fairness. All fairness because you have to put skin in the game. If you're gonna play in the game, you have to put skin in the game, which keeps the momentum of all the legs running and growing. It is about three teams playing team. So these three people, they're three separate networks. They don't feed together. She's building three separate networks. Do you see it? Everybody is. So let's say this was me, remember? This is me. Me, hold on, I wanna be a different color. I'm gonna be green. <laughs> okay. So that's me. This is my network. Now I'm building three people and I'm helping those people build their networks, but my network is part of Sandy's network. But it's the same thing if you take away the other two, it's just starting all over again. Okay, so everybody's building within each other's networks. We play team here. That's why in network marketing, people say, let me teach you how to make the same amount of money I make and even more. Because let's say I go out and put in way more people than Sandy puts in. Those people all count for Sandy's network because I'm under Sandy, right? You don't know who somebody else knows. And why this made so much sense to me was in my salon world. All those customers went out and told their friends, look who did my hair, look who did my hair. Your hair is beautiful, who did your hair? Oh my God, I went to the salon, she's amazing, go to that salon, right? And the customers that were sitting in our chairs, I didn't even know half their names because they weren't coming to me, they were coming to the people that were in my salon doing hair. All of these people were like hairdressers. This is why this makes so much sense to me. They're like hairdressers to me, working on clients that I'm getting paid a percentage of, all their efforts. Do you see it? Only in the salon world, I had to turn the lights on and I had to get the people to come through the front door. Not here, because this is the World Wide Web. We have people on this call in other parts of the world because they knew people who know people, like Tanya Davies. Tanya Davies started in Australia. Now she lives in Canada because she learned how to set herself free. She learned how to retire from the police department and get out of the place where she didn't want to live and go live in the dream place where she wanted to live. To go from not ever seeing her children to now being able to raise her own children. Now she's changed her lenses and now she's doing both. She's building a trading account and she's building a compensation plan. Her network is in Australia. So people are signing up in her business in Australia. This is the way it works. I didn't know those people, but they're in my organization now. And then somebody knows somebody in, in uh, Singapore. And then somebody, know, you know, that's the way it works. I'm, I don't know countries very well, but I'm learning them now as they come into my organization. So because Sandy needs to build this leg, Sandy's going to go sponsor somebody else and she's going to put them right here because she's going to help build this leg. Now, remember, this person doesn't want to trade but that's okay. They got a spot in her organization. 
And that person's going to go out and build another person and it's going to keep growing just like that. But one day down the road, this person might tell somebody about what it is that they do. And when they tell somebody about what it is that they do, what happens? That person builds three people. And it tapped into this whole organization that's been built behind, below them. And now they have a team, just like Sandy did. So now Sandy builds a group of 12, and she's P600, P600, all right? Now, what's the next play, coach? All right, Sandy, now we're gonna go from 12 to 30. We're gonna keep growing this, and we're gonna get to 30 people. You guys, I don't even need to do another piece of paper. It just keeps growing. Circles keep growing, right? It's about knowing the play. Then she gets a team of 30, and she hits P1000. That's $1,000 a month. I want you to think about in your company, 30 people in your organization that you have in your organization, can it pay you $1,000 a month? If your company cannot pay you $1,000 a month in your organization, then shift and start building a compensation plan that pays. What goes after that? What's the next play, coach? Okay, Sandy, we need 75 people now. We need 75 people now, and you're, and you're pulling from three legs, okay? We're building an organization of, of some from here, some from here, and some from here. Once you hit a team of 75, now mind you, Sandy's got me underneath her in this, or in this equation, right? So I'm building, she's got Brian in the equation, Brian's building, she's got Aaron building, she's got Julie building, all these people are coming and building, and what are they trying to do? What's the play, coach? Get three. Great, I got my three. What's the next play, coach? Get 12. Great, I got my 12. What's the next play, coach? Get 30. 30 gets you $1,000. When you start focusing on helping people now get three and then get 12 and then get 30 and teach them how to teach somebody how to get three and then get 12 and then get 30, it continues to unfold. And I'm gonna show you what it unfolds too because I'm gonna share my screen again. And share screen. So this is their comp plan. So platinum P150 is when you get three. This is $150 a month. Then when you get 12, it's $600 a month. Then when you get 30, it's $1,000 a month. When you get 75, it's $2,000 a month. When you get 225, it's $5,000 a month. When you get 500, it's $10,000 a month. 1,250 is $25,000 a month. 2,500 is $50,000 a month. And 5,000 people is $100,000 a month. I'm gonna stop right here. Even though the compensation plan goes to $750,000 a month and there's people, let me, let me just break this down for you for a second. The top of the comp plan goes to $750,000 a month. And there is people that have maxed out the compensation plan. And this company's only eight years old. They're eight years old this month. What can you do over the course of eight years legally? You can do a lot of things illegally, immorally and unethically, but legally, what can you do in the world that can make you $750,000 a month, month after month after month after month, without you using your hands legally. Stop and think about it. If there was a career that was offered in school that taught, so in school, when you go to those, um, um, it's called, uh, oh, what is it called? When they teach career day, career day. When you go to career day in school, in high school, they give you a list of all the things they wanna lead you to, okay? Nursing, teaching, and it tells you how much they pay. Do you think if there was on there something that said $750,000 a month and it said poop, scooper, acrobatic, whatever, do you know how many people would go take that career and learn how to be that thing just because it pays $750,000 a month, make it up. The worst job in the world, dirty jobs, people would do it. 
they'd be like, heck yeah, I'll do it. I'll just wear gloves and a nose plug, but I'll do it for $750,000 a month. You would take your clothes off and run naked down the freeway for $750,000 a month. You would, come on, be honest. I won't even say drop a one if you would do that in the chat because I'll leave that alone right there. But this is my point that I'm trying to make to you is that if you can find a comp plan that can pay you like this pays you, do it. Figure out what the play is and run the play. Find a coach and say, what's the play coach? And do what you would do to go to college for that career to figure out how to learn it so you could make that money. Let me take you back to the beginning. Do you remember how much I was making? $42,000 a month. Do you remember how many people I had in my network? 42,000 people. 42,000 people took me four and a half years to build it to make $42,000 a month. This compensation plan, <laughs> it takes 70,000 people to make $750,000 a month. Think about that. It takes 30,000 people to make $500,000 a month. I had 42,000 people in that network for $42,000 a month. It takes 15,000 people to make $250,000 a month. It takes only 2,500 to make $50,000 a month. 2,500 people. I had 42,000 people in my first network for $42,000 a month. 2,500 or 42,000? Do you think I could do it again? Do you think I'm gonna get to 2,500 people? I'm gonna get to 2,500 people like it's nobody's business because I've done it multiple times before. Do you get it? Run the play coach. Tell me the play and run the play.